Hey guys, so today I will be going through a video on how to j RNG in Excel and use the random number generation function in Microsoft Excel. So, this is pretty cool. So say you just want a completely random number, your formula is going to be equals rand, which is two in closed brackets like that, right? So that's going to get you just a normal random number, which could be anything. So every time you click anything on the page, it refreshes. So say I drag that down one cell, move it one cell, it still will generate completely random sets of numbers. So let's go back and say we want to have a RNG for probability of numbers with certain parameters. So say the first parameter equals random between 0 and 10. So you're going to use the equals rand between function and the bottom number is going to be the number you want your RNG to generate the number between at the bottom and your top number is going to be your ceiling number so for this one it'll be 10 so you'll close that and it'll generate a number between 1 and 10 and say we want to do the same thing for 20 equals ran between 0 20 kind of get how the syntax works right ran between 0 25 so what we're going to do with this afterwards is create a massive set of random number generations for your given criteria and I'll show you how to do that as well and our final one is going to be ran between 0 and 100 so say we want to find the probability for a lottery ticket and the lottery ticket has these four or five different parameters that we need to hit. So say the lottery winning ticket number is 5, 13, 21, 35, and 99. We'll call them lotto winners. So in order to win the lottery, you have to hit 5, 13, 21, 35, and 99. So we want to find out the probability of hitting this number with these given criteria. So what we can do is basically drag these formulas down as far as we want. So now we have a set of 672 random numbers. So we can put them on a new sheet. Boom. And say we drag it down even 300 more cells to 1,000. It'll give us 1,000 more random numbers. And these reset every single time you do anything with the formula. So we're just going to paste the values of those at the bottom and keep doing that over and over and until you get your winning number and that's how you get your probability. You can use ETL programs and programs like Python, VBA, Alteryx to basically rerun this function for you over and over again until you hit the winning lottery numbers to get your true probability. But if you want to true, truly calculate RNG in Excel, this is how you're going to do it. So thank you for watching, and please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Data Science Doug, and more cool videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching.